Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this tarot reading right here, right now, is specifically for Capricorn for the month of May 2018. Hey guys, welcome back. Just to let you guys know, just a reminder for those who are new here, I, uh, I'm a professional astrologer. This is a tarot reading, of course, uh, but I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada, and I do actually read them to you guys before they come out in the newspaper. And every morning here on the channel, we have a live stream. Uh, where we spend some time doing horoscopes and every night we hang out doing tarot readings live tarot readings for you guys and right now in addition to that I'm filming the videos live so it's a lot of fun so if you have anyone has any questions while I'm doing the readings then you can just you know ask me as we go along and it's a lot of fun I don't know that I'm, and it's a lot of fun <laughs> anyways this is the action this is for uh, Capricorn just a reminder if you like the videos please get a thumbs up <laughs> And if you like the, um, you know, and please subscribe to the channel because we're growing the channel here. Now, just to let you know, on all readings here, we use two decks at once because, you know, one card from one deck and another from another deck. We do, sometimes you do the Ascended Master. Tonight we're doing the Gilded Reverie because you like to cross-reference things. You like to get, you know, <laughs> and that's the action. All right, cut the deck in three, plop the cards down, and let's get to it. Do 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 do. <laughs> beast is going on. So if I get distracted, just letting you guys know, it's because I'm looking at the chart a little, looking at the the chat a little bit, and guys are uh, asking questions, and everybody's having a little bit of fun. We're goofing around tonight. All right, so check it out. Let's get down to the action. So. I know it's a tarot reading, but we're starting with a little bit of astrology. And I also know that this isn't exactly uh, May, but that's what's happening. So we, there's a May horoscope video. You can check it out on the channel. See, this is happening right now. Whatever happened in October 2016 has repeated itself by the time you watch this video. And it was a drag for most people. Some, a lot of people are going to be let down for Capricorn. It's going to happen. The Capricorns are going to get let down as well. And it's going to be a drag cap, but that's just the way it is. And uh, it's going to happen to you personally. Something you do or say is not going to be there. You might, you know, something about you. You might, something about you. Like you're, you might have to st start wearing glasses or you get sick or, or something happened to you personally that you have to, um, that you have to take care of. You might have thought it was gone, but you have to take care of it. But there's something else. This Mars here, I don't want to spend too much time on it because I go on it for other signs, but it's going to just it's going to move forward like this over the next couple of months and you're going to think you're past all of the nonsense you're going through now and then it's going to go retrograde and then it's going to come back. And that's the same for Aquarians. Hey guys, there are Aquarians watching right now. Got Aquarians in the live stream. You know, our guys with Aquarian energy, you know, Aquarius risings, you know, hell beast. The What's happening is this 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 problem that you just had that's going through, see 21 and 21 is cresting, then it's going to disappear and you're going to have a lot of energy and then Mars is going to go retrograde in uh, like two months. See Mars R retrograde? Let's pump it back, put it back on the ascendant so you guys can see what's going on. See Mars is going to move forward this way and then it's going to start going retrograde backwards. Let's go back a month and I'll show you again. See that? Mars is up here 9 degrees, everything cool. And then it's going to go backwards. Um, see? And it's going to go there. And then it's going to go one back once a little more. And when it does this, I know it's tough to see. I'll pull it up again so you can see it. And when it does that, see? 28 degrees, <laughs> right? Twenty. Pluto's retrograde, right? So it's running away from Mars. But this is August 23rd. Mars is going way back to where you are right now. So whatever's going on right now, you're like, damn, you're coming all the way back to where you are right now. This was so, you got to be careful. Wow, yeah, Beast is saying so great. I, accidents for you times three. Yeah, I hate to say it, but that's what's going on. Now, Pluto's running away. So that's, Pluto's going back this way. So Cap's got to watch their, uh, for being sick, you know, and the problems are cutting back. 
you know, if they pass the health thing or, you know, they got to watch for coming back. But this Mars got going to go, oh, well, I'm out of it. Oh, I got a lot of energy. Oh, no, we're in trouble again. So that's going, that's what's going on. That's going to really suck. So I'm just letting you guys know that's what's going on. I'm not, I'm not just warning you. <laughs> okay. So that's what's going on. But anyways, that's for like the summer for, that's like the whole summer is going to suck. But, you know, that's the way life is sometimes. And anyways, love is moving on, Capricorn. So you're going to, everything is going to chill out. But I just wanted to show you guys to watch out for that. All right, because that's your health. Money's going to be a problem for a while. Like this is your identity and your ego. You're looking grouchy and having a problem. Then money's going to be money in, money out for a while. Then it's going to get, money's going to get tough. And you're going to have this personality problem again. And then you're going to work it out by the end of the summer. All right, enough. Let's go read some cards. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on. Hey, Topaz, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. And Kevin, what's in the Sava? I hope you're having an amazing day as well. We're just recording the Capricorn horoscopes right now. So that's the action. Here we go. Capricorn, number one. I think it means horse. What makes it say that? Because it's a horse. <laughs> it means rider. Says I'm okay. Here we go. Time to start the time to start the formal reading here. And hey, Lori, what's up? I hope you are having a wonderful night as well. The rider, Capricorn. I am always bringing news. Look around me to see what it includes. I might be coming to visit or bringing you some changes. I'm fast and always on the move. All right. The rider and the letterman. This this one brings news. All right. Obviously, we get that. It's the first card and announces new things. In the Gilded Reverie deck, we behold a dreamy female rider who sits astride a carousel horse. The horse, who in fairy tale stories is a conveyor of messages. She may even be Iris, the Greek messenger of the gods. All right, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. The fastened messenger bag across her shoulder may be suggestive of additional messages for different destinations along her night's voyage. In her hand, she grasps a white envelope, a letter that's out of the bag and ready to be delivered for the current reading. Now, in the deck, letters mean information is coming, but slow to arrive, right? But that's not the deal here. This is not about the letter. This is about the writer delivering a message. The carousel is the ideal metaphor in this card. It means a new cycle is being initiated in the end of an old state. So Capricorn, it's time for new beginnings. I know you, I just said that you got this kind of, uh, this stress that's happening and then it's going to go through your financial sector and then it's going to come all the way back and you're going to be like, ah, and that's really is what's going to happen. And then you're going to be clear and it's going to take a couple of months to happen, but that's not your luck, you know, and that's not your fortune and that, that's not, <laughs> it's not what you're attracting. It's what you're focusing your energy on. A lot of the times you know, we put our energy in one area and something good happens from somewhere else. And you're like, Ugh. <laughs> but that's what's going on. And sometimes we put so much energy into something and that like it takes a while to pay off. And that's what's happening. And sometimes we put energy into something and then we go on and we got to come back and do it again. And that's what's going on, Capricorn. That's what's going on for everybody. But for Capricorn, it's happening to you, your personality, your ego, your identity and the sun. So let's say you're a Capricorn who injured themselves. Then you're going to try and make yourself feel better. You're going to do your rehab. Something's going to happen. You're going to have to come back and go over it again. It's possible you bought something to increase your, you know, and then the bill's going to come in in a couple of weeks and you're going to go, oh my God, that's way expensive. And you got to come back because Capricorns should be expense, expecting some uh, financial problems. Yeah, and Hell B says, uh, he has a cap friend who's working two jobs and is a full-time student. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on with Capricorns. A lot of energy into their action right now. It's really busy for Capricorns. Like they got some, they got they got a lot going on. All right, what else is going on? So new beginnings and the ups and downs of the carousel also symbolizes the magical flight that powers the messenger to its destination. So freed from the revolving merry-go-round of life, whose circular motion is also defined by the laws of physics, blah, 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 blah. It means, this is a card that means a message is on the way. It's a card of new beginnings, and it's a card to, um, 
of new cycles, you know, and to speed things around. It's always bringing good news. So for Capricorn, good news is on the way. All right, next. That's a, a awful long time to describe that card, but that's what's going on. Next, the Emperor. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you should be more serious in your readings. Oh, yeah, you should go fuck yourself. Oh. Why you guys tell me to be cool? Why you, you guys go, oh, there you go. Tell me now I got to demonetize another video. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next, next. Okay, everybody be cool. So, the emperor. Here we go. It's coming along. So, oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm tired of that. So, I'm just, you're not very professional. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so, go, <laughs> go, 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 who cares? I really don't care. So, the Emperor, here we go. In this situation, um, in the Tarot, for those who don't know, the pillars represent Boaz and Jachin. They're the pillars that stood at the porchway or entrance of King Solomon's temple. And it's like, it alludes to the path, your way that you have to go through. You know, it could be, you know, it's just your way. And the first half of the Tarot is all about a duality, which are the walls or your boundaries that you're going to navigate through. Later on, these boundaries converge onto a new path, and you ascend uh, to a world beyond boundaries. Uh, but in the meantime, duality is a big deal for a lot of people. So, stroke the furry wall. Audrey, <laughs> Audrey, my sunny siders are telling me to stroke the furry wall. No, it's all cool, guys. I like it's all cool. And there are a lot of Capricorn sunny siders, and I got This is for them. And so, Cap, here we go. So. It's, there are different ways and different cards that tell us how to navigate through this uh, these boundaries of ours or these walls or these oppositions or, you know, to navigate your way. You know, the high priestess says someone is standing there and telling you that you don't know everything on your journey. The Hierophant is telling you that there are lessons to be learned before you take your journey and to, to focus on what's tried and true on the journey. You know, the hangman tells us that there's... Um, you know, we're not seeing everything on our journey. The chariot's telling us that you're moving so strong and you're in control of uh, the boundaries. But in this situation, it's saying that you're, um, what it's saying is you should be strong and confident through your journey. It's the emperor. He takes control of everything and he's confident and he's strong. And that's what's going on. Take care, your strength, of your path. Here we go. And in this situation, hey, this card's been coming up a lot for a lot of people. So it's a card, it's Leo energy. It means, alludes to the fifth house in astrology. And it means strength. I know Leo's lying, right? And they put a tiger here. That's just how they drew it, because it looks nice in the picture. And so it means it's a time of being, you're repressing your desires. So information is on the way. There's new beginnings, Capricorn. But the beginnings are going to come back a little later in two months, right, astrologically. Then we have a situation where you need to take control of your vibe. You know, be strong, be loud and proud, and have fun. You know, this is a card about being, your desires are currently repressed. So you got to be strong, and strong enough and confident enough to get out there and play a little. You know, life isn't about being uptight all the time. And Capricorn has it tough right now. And for some signs, they think that, you know, when times of, you know, we all would default back to certain types of programming in terms of conflict or when it's rough and it's rough for Capricorn right now and when Capricorn gets rough a lot of them repress themselves but this times cards are saying don't get out don't repress yourself get out and well you not necessarily get out right it depends on where the planets line up in your chart but it's saying to express yourself and have a little bit of fun lighten up and finally the last card is the world card this is a card of karma it's Saturn energy it means karma and it's a situation that says it's a situation which says you're at the very end of a particular your journey and you should you know you have two cards that may begin so this is the beginning of a journey and this card definitely means the end of a journey and it means you've grown there's nothing to fight about anymore capricorn you're in may there's nothing to fight about let it all go astrologically everything is going to peak all the nonsense is going to peak around the you know between the 15th to 20th of may and then it's going to be time to move forward and of all the signs, you have the biggest chance to move forward. 
and that's it. Karma. If you do, if you were a good Capricorn, you got good things happening to you. If you're a bad Capricorn, you got bad things happening to you. And that's the action, Capricorn. If you like a little more clarity, uh, you know, you can check in the description box for what it, you know about a uh, personal reading, or just drop by the channel and and hang out. Maybe you make a friend, <laughs> or maybe you'll find whatever <laughs> from the sunny side. Net, I'm sunny, wishing all Capricorns the absolute best. Have a super beautiful May, and I'll see you guys soon.